Um, what they did, they issued a new one for an amount of uh, approximately 700,000 for this one, this one runs from uh, 09 to uh, 2011. And the is that 700,000 a year or over uh, the a year? And then the three extensions that they're locked into presumably are $910,000 a year for the next three years. That would be starting so we mean you millions and millions of dollars, and, and, and they admit this is the toxic waste of fertilizer production, aluminum purification, and nuclear weapons production, and they would have to pay to put this in mine shafts in, in, in Utah or Nevada. Instead, they have us pay to drink it. Yes. You, you know it's not going to go down, and in fact, they're... Um, I subpoenaed some documents, and the wow, you're really getting busy. I, I am getting busy. Uh, this is this is all new to me, and I'm learning as I go. And the reason given for this by Lucier was that their own supplier, which is which is Mosaic, the actual manufacturer, had suddenly doubled their price just overnight. They doubled it. So Lucier was kindly going to pass on a little less of that cost. They wanted an increase in 37 percent. So everybody else is losing their jobs or taking pay cuts. The economy's imploding, and they're going, hey, we got some toxic waste. Hey, the suckers in Austin and every other city, we're doubling. And how about triple? How about we all sell our houses and become homeless, and we'll pay $10 billion for the, for the toxic waste? I mean, we could, I mean, see, it's just like with the banks, how we're paying them $14.8 trillion of our money to go loot the world, and... And then we pay interest on the money that taxpayers are going to pay. I mean, who, who comes up with these diabolical frauds? Well, and we don't even know the total cost of the program. That's just the chemical purchasing cost from the company in Florida uh, for the toxic industrial fertilizer waste. But uh, there's also, there's got to be some... The building, the storage, the yes. shipping, the Operation insurance, the... And so forth, yes. It's, it has to be very expensive. I mean, uh, we figure it's got to be over a million a year. This is some estimates we've seen from other cities around the country where the cost of the chemical is maybe 50 to 60 percent. Then these corrosive chemicals eat up your pumps and equipment, so pipes, so they... they got to have insurance policies. Right, right. And, and the workers have to be very careful. So that was the reason why uh, recently the city of Elgin, which is just northeast of Austin on 290, voted uh, not to continue fluoridation anymore, and so did uh, Alamo High on the north side of San Antonio. Well, yeah, that's the point I was going to make. San Antonio anti-fluoride group has really been one of the biggest in the country. And in closing, we are having victories. We can affect change if people get involved and point out what a ridiculous fraud this is. Yeah, there's actually over a list of over 212 U.S. cities that have now uh, shot down fluoridation, artificial water fluoridation. There is a lot of money on the other side. And that is... That is really the sum and substance of it, and people are deep, deep in denial. For instance, the CDC, who can advise against giving fluoride to infants and at the same time insist vehemently that it's one of the ten greatest public health measures of the uh, 20th century. That's what I was going to say. How can they say don't give it to infants? It hurts their brains and bone development. That's admitted now, official government. But then when you go in the store, it's give fluoride to your kids. I mean, it, it, I mean, it's not just that they don't care and are making money. There's a very sick agenda here. Oh, yeah. Because we know the neurological effects it has. That's a fact. And, you know, they can make all the Dr. Strange loves they want making fun of us. I have the reports from major universities, we've read them on air, where they knew the University of Texas in the 30s had studies on fluoride and its effects on the brain. And so uh, when you search them, some of the first you find is German studies and U.S. studies at the University of Texas. I don't know if you've seen those, Doc, but uh, it's amazing. Right, well, it's because uh, of... Um, fluorine as a uh, or fluoride compounds as a flux for smelting was very very important to the war effort. Uh, steel and aluminum and uranium all requ require um, large amounts of calcium fluoride or sodium fluoride in their process. And it's cost so prohibitive to store it in toxic dumps, so make people drink it, and it makes them sit down and shut up. 
Well, well, they wind up producing a lot of fluoride waste products, and and the workers were being uh, harmed. Some of them were actually dying. Uh, neighbors, so there were lawsuits being filed in the 1940s. Tennessee, the, the aluminum industry, the steel industry, and uh, governmental agencies said, "Well, this is a problem. Uh, we've got to quash these lawsuits." Look, I want to have you both back in the next few months as this develops, and please. Uh, Continue your fight. Thank you for your help. Videotape your city council uh, confrontations because I'm going to make a film about the whole eugenics angle as we have their documents, uh, you know, why they're doing this. You wonder why the public's so passive. The drugs, the entertainment, the GMO foods, all of this is putting people in a very docile, docile state. And, uh, Dr. Uh, I want to thank you for joining us, uh, Dr. Neil uh, Carmen, and I want to thank uh, Ray Nadler Olnick, also anti-fluoridation activist, fluoridefreeaustin.com. Volunteers get involved. There's anti-fluoride groups in every major city and in small towns. Just Google the name of your town or city, and if there isn't one in your city, do what this great lady did. Do what Ray did. Start your own group. Uh, because she's really starting to make some headway thanks to uh, people uh, that she's collaborating with like you, Doctor. So okay. I commend you both, and God bless you. And, Thank uh, you, Alex. Thank you know, you. I'll get some free Obama deceptions or, or uh, end games on your way out. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you much for coming in.